What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Pretty Little Liars Original Sin, Season 1, Episode 5. This will be the recap for that episode. Episode 5 opens on Halloween 1999 with Angela doing a prank with the liars' moms. The Angela doesn't want to do the prank, but she also wants to fit in and have friends very badly after angela completes the prank of throwing an object at a door the moms drive off leaving her behind imogen thinks they'd be foolish to go to the police after how close they are to the truth we then are shown tabby is mad at chip for stepping in to direct the short film and ruining her intent to tell a female viewpoint behind the camera the liars are at imogen's house searching for the missing pages or any clues tabby continues to deliver movie reference heavy dialogue and it's honestly at this point like this is what i'm talking about it, it starts to become very cringe to me uh because it's so constant from her but she's my favorite liar and i love her to death because chandler's doing an amazing job Farron talks to Henry and reveals that Kelly did have a scar on her foot. This only makes her believe further that Kelly is Karen and Kelly died. Minnie is shown meeting with grown men online and I honestly did not fully understand this moment when I first originally saw it. Imogen has another flashback of her mom giving her a gift for the baby and then proposing a baby shower should occur. Farron meets with her ballet teacher and tells her she thinks Kelly is Karen due to the scars on her feet. The teacher tells Farron to stop because Kelly has engaged in acts of self-harm before. Imogen is planning to throw a Halloween party to save her house by charging admission. Minnie says she can't go because of plans. Noah will see if Sean can go or can help people attend, I meant to say. Minnie talks to Ash and invites him to the party and says she'll meet him there at 9.30. Tabby talks to Wes and he's mad about the night with dinner, not going how he'd hope. He reminds Tabby that he cares about her, but Tabby just wanted to, to come collect her last check. Tabby agrees to stay working at the theater after hearing the new conditions from Wes. On Halloween, Tabby is working hard at the theater. One of the patrons asks for a cherry Coke, and Tabby says they don't have that, and he proceeds to ask if she still has her cherry. Minnie is taking pictures in her room with multiple costumes on. Farron meets Kelly for a drink and compliments her for being a great dancer. Kelly says she was always good, but she couldn't display it because Karen always needed, needed the spotlight. She admits she blames herself for Karen's death and thinking how they, they should have stayed home that night instead of going to the dance. Farron notices the cut on Kelly's hand and asks about it and tells Kelly she can always talk to her. She tells Kelly Imogen is having a party at her, at her old house and she should come if she wants. At Imogen's party, Noah and Sean arrive. Tabby confronts Sean about a bonfire that he swears he doesn't recall. Minnie is shown meeting with this grown man pretending to be a girl named Rachel. A is shown going into a basement cellar and picking out a new outfit to wear for Halloween. Minnie is out trick-or-treating with this man who says she can call him daddy or dad. Imogen finds A in her house but doesn't know that it is A. A walks up to her before shifting to the other direction after Imogen tells them they can't use that restroom. Imogen receives a phone call at her party about Angela Waters but has nowhere quieter to go to speak to them about Angela. Minnie came to the party at Imogen's house and goes upstairs with Sean, or I meant to say Ash. I meant to say Ash. Farron catches Kelly making out with Greg, Karen's ex. This makes her believe Kelly is indeed Karen, and she storms off saying she effing knew it. Chip meets with Tabby at the party and lets her know that they have a chance to reshoot the short with her as a director this time. Chip says that they can watch Nightmare on Elm Street, but Tabby says she's going to stay at the party for Imogen. Farron confronts Kelly at the party and says she saw her kissing Greg. Kelly calls Farron, calls Farron girl and says that's what Karen used to call her. Uh, she said that she thinks Kelly is Karen and she's just pretending to be Kelly because she's guilty over her sister's death. Farron wants... Farron wants she might or Farron thinks she might be in danger because someone pushed Kelly thinking they were Karen and could still be after her. Uh, Kelly tells Farron to stay away from her after she gets mad after the after, after the accusation that came from Farron's mouth. Minnie and Ash are upstairs and I assume they're very high during this. Minnie says to stay here and she's going to go get snacks from downstairs. So Ash stays downstairs in bed. Noah sees Minnie and hugs her out of excitement. Tabby confronts Tyler and the crew about their misogyny. And this scene is honestly the worst part of the show for me so far. I'm all for Tabby standing up for herself. But it's like, please stop having her deliver these type of words. The problem also is that Chandler is doing such an amazing job at it. So I'm like on the fence with it. I still love Tabby very much. 
Tyler goes to the bathroom after Tabby punches him and A kills him by strangling him to death before dropping him in the tub. Tabby is comforted by her friends after she punched Tyler. Imogen asks Delias to help break up a party she's ready to be over. A walks out of the basement with Tyler's body and packs him up in the back of their van. Imogen has more flashbacks of time with her mom the next day after the party as she walks around the house home alone. Imogen receives a call from the person that called about Angela Waters. Imogen agrees to meet with this person on the phone who says they knew Angela Waters' family and knew Imogen's mom. Minnie is confronted by her mom when she returns home. Minnie's father died many years ago and she misses him. That's what we are shown, or at least that's what it looked like it was. Uh, something about her father she misses. Farron gets a call from her ballet teacher who says Kelly was a wreck and that Farron will not be starring in the play anymore. Kelly tells her mom the news and her mom calls her Karen. Uh, Kelly tells her that she told her she's Kelly and that she'll get her meds so she can feel better. Imogen asks Tabby what the Tyler confrontation was really about. Tabby admits that at a party once in the woods that something happened to her. Imogen tells Tabby something happened to her as well. And then the episode ends. Now, for those of you who've already read my review for episode six through 10, you will find out what happened to Tabby and Imogen next week. And you'll find out what this is that they share. And you'll find out all of these other details about it as you go into episode seven, eight, nine, and 10, the season finale. Uh, I really enjoyed episode five. I know a lot of you are also looking forward to the carnival episode. I believe the carnival episode is episode seven. So you should be getting that next week. Uh, I might be mistaken, but I believe the carnival episode was indeed episode seven. But I hope you guys did enjoy the two episodes that debuted tonight on HBO Max. I know a lot of us are still going to wait for the early part of today to find out if we are going to need to worry about the upcoming ending of the series because they might be getting shelved due to this new upcoming deal with discovery going on in hbo max going out the door so hopefully this show can get its second season but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comments below did you enjoy episode four and five if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video